250,000 rounds plus through this gun. Uh, it's one of my one of my favorite guns. So this is a a typical one and a half second draw of a level two holster that we would see in competition, where most people actually can uh, achieve this. So if I go out there, I only want to move what's necessary in order to be able to draw the gun. That is a one and a half second draw from start to finish. So. One and a half seconds is longer than most people think, so we're going to drop it down to one second here. There's a lot of people who say they can do one second draws, but I like the guys who can do them every single time at a target at seven to ten yards away. So, um, you heard a guy named Jerry Michelet, that revolver guy, Richard Smith and Wesson, he's pretty good. And a guy named Rob Latham, you ever heard a guy? He used to be good. Okay. So Rob and I are actually on the U.S. team for the World Championship this year. We'll be shooting um, single stacks at the World Championship when we have uh, we made the U.S. team to go out there and do that for the U.S. So we'll be doing that in October and hopefully we have a lot of fun at it. So if you see Rob, um, tell him I'm going to kick his ass at the, at the World Shoot this year. All right, here's a one second draw. I'm a circle lock holster and we'll, I just want you to look at my head not to move anything except where I'm looking at where I want the gun to go at. So that is a one second draw and the wind's going to put all the pressure on me here. So here's a point eight. Now a point eight is not hard to do but you have to do everything exactly the same way every single time. So if you're in competition and you're in law enforcement these things can be achieved but I always try to tell everybody always look for a baseline by giving yourself an electronic timer that allows you to tell you what you're doing every time. So if you're doing deep concealment my thing is I like to be able to have that gun out and be able to hit a target at five to seven yards away and be able to do that consistently somewhere around two seconds. That's a good starting point to go. If you're free to start, that's okay. You can always work yourself down. So here's a here's a point eight. I have a level two. So I got to get the gun up and out. We'll be talking and shooting at the same time, Todd. Did I make it? Pretty close? Okay, alright, because I the fastest I can draw the gun and shoot and hit a target is um, is about 53 to 55 with a non-locking holster. This is, um, I have to build with a non-locking holster, I would have the lock involved. So what happens is I got to be able to push the lock in. So if I had it, so I can bring the gun up and I scoop the gun up and out to the target. So in this case, I have to come over, wrap it down, squeeze the gun in order to get the gun back on the target. Um, I had a holster properly. So this is a .6. And I'm going to attempt to do a couple of them here for you. Yesterday I got through, I think, one. Remember, that's over half a second. So it takes me 17 hundreds in time just to react to the to that first shot. So I'm going to try a .6 for you here. So you can get one. All right, did I get that one? There's about a 63 if I actually do it in real time, believe it or not. So what happens is the time the hammer hits the firing pin and the sound goes to the machine, it's somewhere around 63 is where it's at. So we'll try one more time here. I'm doing this demo. I get to do as much as I want until I get it right. So, all right, here we go. One more time. It was pretty close. It was pretty close for, for a locking holster out there. So a non-locking holster, uh, I like I said, I'm about 700 faster. But the key thing is understanding reaction time. I'm reacting at the very beginning of the buzzer. So that buzzer is about 2700 from the very start to finish. So